Realtors, should you be talking faster or slower? It's Peter Shabri with Lockbox, and I want to talk about a very important topic today, and that one is called mirroring and matching. Now, we'll probably do several videos about mirroring and matching because it's an important technique, uh, and there are several different facets to it. Today, I want to talk about mirroring and matching pace of, of language. And before I go there, I just want to explain the concept of rapport. The goal of rapport is to establish commonality between you and your prospect or you and your new friend, whomever it may be. Um, and you do that by sharing commonalities. One of the ways that we establish commonality faster, because people tend to trust people like them, um, is by mirroring and matching various ways people communicate. Well, one of the ways that people communicate is with speech. And one of the ways that we express ourselves is through our pace of speech. And I want to thank Luke Williams, a Lockbox Watcher viewer, for suggesting that I bring this up. Thank you, Luke. And that is that if you talk too fast or faster than the person that you're with, they will draw some conclusions. And if you, draw too, if you speak too slowly or slower than the pace of speech that they operate at, they will draw some other conclusions. So a classic example of this is if you take a New Yorker and you put him in a room with somebody from Texas, the New Yorker is going to talk really, really fast. And the individual from Texas is probably going to talk a little bit slower. What conclusions do they draw? The New Yorker who speaks quickly listens to the Texan speaking slowly and thinks this guy is dumb because he speaks so slowly. Conversely, the Texan is listening to the New Yorker speaking it three to four times as quickly and thinks, I can't trust this guy. He's a fast talker and he's talking quickly because he's not telling me the truth and he's trying to fill the space. Those are the kind of conclusions that people can reach at extreme levels of, of, of difference between rate of speech. And so it's really important when you're mirroring and matching somebody and you're trying to establish some rapport, some commonality, listen to their pace of their speech. If you're speaking quickly or you're a little nervous, dial it back, take a deep breath, bring yourself to match their pace of speech. And if they're maybe a little bit higher energy than you are and think faster and talk faster, that's okay too. They just have a, a faster internal motor. Well, then you may want to have to rev up a little bit uh, and speak a little bit quicker so that you're matching them. So that's just the simple idea of mirroring and matching, especially as it applies specifically to rate of speech. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in another week.